So there you are, you've just given birth to your baby, and now you need to give birth again. But this time it's to your placenta. The placenta's job when your baby is on the inside is essentially the interface between you and your baby. So this is where all of your blood's oxygen and nutrients all come to be dropped off so that the baby can, can pick them up and can grow and thrive. And then the baby's waste products through the baby's blood are carried back to the placenta where your body, your blood, will pick it up. So this placenta is a pretty important thing. It's essentially what has kept your baby alive for the last nine months while it's been inside of you. The good news is about delivering your placenta is that you are still on your birth high. You are still feeling the greatest ecstasy known to women. Um, the fireworks that happen after a natural birth, you're still very much entrenched in that euphoria. And so having to birth your placenta, even though it might be like a momentary mm, kind of annoying thing, you're not even really, oh, it's happening in the background. This is something that most women forget completely. Like I don't remember the details of my placenta being born because I had a baby in my arms. So once the placenta is here, what do you do with it? This is the question, right? What do you want to do with your placenta? So there's typically three things that people will do with their placenta once it is on the outside. I think the default thing is that it just kind of goes into the biohazard waste at the hospital or, or wherever you're giving birth, but it, it might be worth some thought. Like maybe you want to do something different with your placenta. The second option is to keep it. And I'm gonna do an entirely separate video all about what you keep it for and what some ideas are or some options if you want to keep your placenta. I kept my placenta, but actually both of my placentas, uh, they're in my freezer right now, and, oh, do you, do you wanna see one? Is that weird? I don't know, is that weird? A third option would be to tour it. So you can actually get the nurses or the midwife or the OB or whoever it is that's there with you to look at your placenta and show you the different aspects of it and show you the umbilical cord and show you the way it all works and it's, you know, it's a substantial thing. It's like a, you know, it's this big and it's thick and it's heavy and it's involved and it's very rich and beautiful and you can tell that it's an important organ just by looking at it. So this might be a good opportunity to open up those lines of communication with your partner, with yourself, with your OB or your midwife about what your options are postpartum. This is having an empowered birth, right? This is These are making conscious birth choices about your experience. So even if things, you know, go down a different road, this is one thing that you can use that will kind of staple. You can still have this in your birth plan even if you have a C-section. So that is it, my friends. That's all I wanted to tell you about the placenta for now. Like I said, I, I'm gonna make another video all about what these people who keep it, these strange people like myself, what are they doing with their placentas? Why are they keeping them? What is the point? If you like this kind of information and you wanna hear more about naturopathic labor preparation, you can sign up for my webinar that's happening this week over at loveyourlabor.com forward slash webinar. It's totally free, just give me your name and email and I will send you all of the details. If you liked this video, please be sure to actually like it leave me a comment, tag a friend, or share it on your page. I want you to birth boldly and love your labor. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Farmer's Baby Talk.